Mr Speaker, my question is to the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister promised Australians cheaper mortgages, but since his election, interest rates have gone up ten times, the fastest rise in history. The Prime Minister promised a $275 cut to your power bill each year before the election, but Labor's intervention in the gas market is causing prices to skyrocket. The Prime Minister promised families would be better off, Order. but the cost of living crisis has never been the worse. Why do Australians always pay more under Labor? The call to the Prime Minister. Thanks very much, uh, Mr Speaker. I thank, I thank the member for uh, his question. Um, we did promise and we are delivering on making a difference. Uh, to people. We're making a difference with the cheaper medicines policy that we brought in on January 1, making Order. an enormous difference and contrasting with the person who asked the question, which, when he was Health Minister, wanted to jack up the price of essential medicines by $5 per the script. There's a contrast. Order. Cheaper childcare starts from July 1. Order. When the legislation was carried, the shadow finance minister said this, it's certainly not the policy that we would have introduced. Never a truer word was said. Never a truer word was said. On July 1, we're expanding paid parental leave to six months. Now, the leader of the opposition was a senior minister in the former government, which repeatedly tried to cut government-funded paid parental leave for tens of thousands of families. We said we'd get wages moving again. But those opposite voted against the secure jobs, better pay legislation. And when we said that the minimum wage should be increased by just $1 an hour, they said it had wrecked the economy. Wrecked the economy. That it was reckless. That it was reckless. We said about the energy price relief plan, who in the question, uh, which, the of course, for which of course is complete, uh, member for Fairfax will cease is complete, complete nonsense that somehow the, the order the cap members on my left on gas and coal and right. that we introduced in conjunction with state and territory governments, Labor and coalition, uh, wasn't working. Well, that's not what the Australian energy market operator said on the 28th of April, when they said wholesale spot prices averaged $83 megawatt the for the March quarter, down from $93 and $216 in the previous December and September quarters. Our plan, our plan is working there. And similarly, the uh, regulator, Claire Savage, said this <coughs> our late, uh, on the 20th of April. Our latest Number quarterly four. wholesale report for January to March shows forward-based future prices for electricity initially stabilised during the early part of 2023 and remain well the below levels Fairfax. observed the in, 2020, in 2022. Mr Speaker, they've got nothing Order. but negativity the over there. Time. 